All right, so today we're going to talk the differences between PC and console. As most of you know, I have moved on from PS5 ESO, not PS5 gaming, but basically PS5 ESO is a thing of the past for me. And it's funny because I don't have everything I have on PS5, but PC is just hands down the better experience. But I know you guys want to know the where, when, and why. And should you transfer and should you not transfer so first I would advise you to transfer um, if you're planning on getting a PS5 Pro or a Xbox 14 whatever the fuck um, I would advise you transfer instead of spending that money spend like an extra two hundred dollars and go ahead and get a PC while you can now the move over there can be daunting at first but a lot of people are helpful and add-ons are helpful they're not the cheat engine things you help you know you think and heard of or anything like that it's just mostly quality of life stuff to help you grind better to help you get items faster and such and such you know so and gold prices things for gold are relatively cheaper over there although it's it's easier to get gold I should say um, things are a little more expensive but it's way easier to get gold so it really doesn't matter it all comes into perspective so the only thing you'll really be doing um, over that'll take you a little bit of time will probably be the CP grind. But you don't have to do all this once. Like I said, if you're planning on making the switch, then just, you know, come over a bit at a time, grind here or there, get everything you need done. It took me three days to get everything I need. And currently I'm only 400 and such CP, but I'm not grinding CP. That's just from naturally moving around and... I'm in PvP, I'm doing just fine, you know, you can check out the streams, I'm not here to talk about all of that, but the competition, let's start there since I say I'm doing just fine. Now, you're going to find you're able to do a lot more on console when you run into the average, I mean, on um, PC when you run into the average Joe. The fact of the matter is, there's just way more players and that means way more good players way more bad players and often than not you're not going to be in the same area say as like on console it's just pure sweaty balls to the wall sweats so keep that in mind you won't come over and completely get um zerg stumped every time the flip side of that is the good players are really good and they'll put you down easily you know when you run into them like you'll be having an easy time and then you run into some of these good players and they are either on par or better than console players. It's just a fact. Like a lot of the console players are over here too, so keep that in mind. A lot of the best players there came to PC, but hands down, the competition is stiff. It's going to be a little harder for you, but it's going to be a little easier for you at times. So you got to pick your poison. Uh, moving along, as I said, the population is massive. There's always new faces versus seeing the same old few groups on console so you just want to get in you want to fight people and you want to always have combat not just at prime time but at all times like gray host has a queue early in the a.m to the end of the fucking night so you know it's always busy and you can get action in black reach in the sewers as well which kind of surprised me so if you're looking to just tire the same old stale six people and you want to see some fresh names that's a reason I would give it the heads up to go. Also, performance is hands down. I mean, this isn't even a discussion. The performance is just leagues better. I don't have any issues, and I've downloaded add-ons. You know, I have a good PC as well, but I didn't. To be honest, I didn't have many add-ons. I used to play on a PS5, so a launch PS5 at that, and I wasn't really having any real lag issues but it's so much smoother over here and the frames make it smoother that you can actually feel your skills going off without delays and things like that and it's just an all-around better experience I would say um, other things I would list is just the um, the time invested like skill lines and all of that I know a lot of people like have concerns really like they don't want to do the grind o over again they don't want to lose their achievements or their lore books and I can't, um, you know, spell this out enough that you don't have to lose that stuff. A lot of people think when they come to PC, it deletes their old, you know, content, their games and things like that. You can keep, I still have my PS5 account. I can go back to it anytime I want. But the thing I'm trying to tell you is once you get over here, you more than likely will not want to go back over here. You know, the first day over here, second day over here, I was just walking around just wondering, I'll help, you know, 
I mean, wondering who would help me and how I would go about things. But I just reached out, man. And, uh, you know, people blessed me. <laughs> and it was just like that. Now, I know you think it's a content creator. And that's why people are giving me things. But nothing could be further from the truth. Like, that, that is a reason I receive some things as well. But, you know, just asking in discords or, you know, hopping around and chat. I, I got a lot done. So... Like I said, it could be daunting at first, but once you get over here, I don't, like I said, I'm 400 CP, I'm doing just fine. All my videos uh, previously were between 100 and 300 CP, so keep that in mind, man. Uh, Battlegrounds is going to feel the same, more populated, open world, it's going to feel a lot better to you. Um, so yeah, man, if you're thinking about making that move... Those are my thoughts. Um, I literally do not see a downside outside of starting over. I know it's getting a little repetitive with me saying this, but a lot of you might be just like stuck on the fence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to help you take that extra step. Monetary wise, you can get a good PC. I've been running the numbers through people um, between, I mean, if you just want to run ESO, I wouldn't recommend it, but because at that point, play console, but you could get a PC within a $600 range. Now, if you just want something that's going to perform well and now perform console, you can get something in an eight to $1,000 range, which you shouldn't need any more than that. Now, if you stream and all that and you want to future-proof it, you may have to spend a little more, maybe up to $1,500, but you shouldn't need any more than that. And you got to know it's an investment for games. I ended up spending around... 3k for my pc but that's because i stream i'm going to play other games and i want to future proof it i don't want to touch this thing for five years but those are my thoughts um let me know what you think down in the comments below it's your boy klg ouchie peace